Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we have already created server in Qt. Links are in the description. In this video, we will create Python script to send data to our server. First thing uh, we require is we'll import socket, then we'll import JSON because uh, we'll be sending data in JSON format. Uh, now, since we are planning to send random data, right? So from uh, random import random okay. and we also need time okay so first thing uh, what we'll do is we'll create a new socket right now we need a host okay and specify the port number at which we are trying to connect in this case we are using 1234 okay now simply is connect right so we need to enter our host and port number now uh, what we are actually thinking of doing is sending all the data continuously right so in a while uh, loop we will send you know data stream Okay, great. Now we can. This is the function that we'll be creating, in which we can input socket and the range. Let's say we just want to send 10 data as of now in the time interval of a second. And simple point right now we need to actually create this function so we'll we'll give two input that is connection and the n value right so x will be a list of uh, you know a range from 0 to this number now while will be empty as of now okay so now uh, what we need to do is actually append some random integers so we'll simply do append um, grand, grand int. Uh, right now i'm keeping the range from 0 to 30. now if in case uh, you want them to be decimal values like float values so you can multiply it with some random number like i'm going to this number right okay now what we need to do is actually convert everything into json format So first of all, we'll give x value, then we'll give y value, that is done, 
uh, now we'll print this data over here and simply send this data okay great so let's see if we are actually getting the data or not build this this is our network plot okay so we have an error over here okay yeah now let's see okay yeah so over here you can see we are getting continuous data now what remaining is to actually send this data we need to first pass it and then send this particular data to our uh, main queue window right hey everyone thank you so much for watching the video hope you like it make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel also check out my other videos on the channel and let me know in the comments down below what other videos i should make